so the topic for today is inclusion i'm basically sick of us begging to be included in stuff that we created it doesn't really make any sense and i want us to go back to the old days of like you know negro leagues and things of that nature when we're talking about inclusion we hear us complaining about not seeing enough black people in movies and then when we are in movies we're in supporting roles that are pretty demeaning to one's character such as slaves or the help even if she's just like in the movie in the major role she's like the best friend but she's the mouthy best friend the ratchet best friend. We talk about in sports how players, they might get way higher salaries and they do a lot less, or they have a lot more leeway. Stop begging people to do stuff in their own league. Let's go back to the Negro League. It doesn't have to be exactly the way that theirs is, but my motto is if you starve the beast, it will perish. So when I say that, I mean if you take all of your support, you take all of your efforts and put it into funding your own league or supporting yourselves, then you negate the reason to feel included or important in someone else's arena. That's like Golden State going to Cleveland and being mad that they getting booed. That's not your arena. That's not your hometown. They don't fuck with you like that. And they're going to tell you they don't fuck with you like that because why? They want the home team to win. So if you carry that mindset into any place that you go, you'll understand why it's the way it is and you won't be begging for better treatment or inclusion. We started all of this stuff. Why are you asking someone else who's making money off of you dancing to treat you better when you can just put on your own production? It's just counterproductive. In sports, we know how a lot of them may be doing different things and they get off like Ben Roethlisberger, I heard that he assaulted some women and stuff like that, but then Ray Rice, not saying he's right, but Ray Rice got in trouble and he hasn't really had a career in the NFL since. And meanwhile, Ben Roethlisberger is only once. Instead of fake boycotting the NFL, make your own league. And I say fake boycotting because you burn in a Nike jersey or you decide not to watch for two Sundays doesn't mean a thing because the whole culture is still engulfed in this one place, the National Football League. You don't have to do that. We can make our own football league. It's not that serious. We don't need the public syndication and all that. All we need is our support, our dollars, and for us to play the sport the way that we want to play it. We can wear whatever we want. It really is crazy to me that these basketball players are going to the lengths of getting like Supreme tattooed on their leg just so that the league can't tell them what sleeve to wear and what sleeve they shouldn't wear and they're still getting penalized and fined for it. How is it that you are here because they're a talent? You're getting penalized for expressing yourself what does that sound like primary school prison it's time to stop signing up for imprisonment and then begging for better treatment create your own stuff it's not that hard we have the money we have the support it's been shown that when we stop supporting stuff it gets shut down companies fake fire people just to suffice and just to appease us so that they can maintain our dollar if they're even going as far as mcdonald's for example making jingles and turning their commercials into musical just to capture our attention that lets you know what kind of power we have and if we stop giving it away we don't have to worry about stuff like that if we want the attention to be focused on us let's focus on ourselves and make stuff for ourselves entertainment you see every year we have the BET awards which we are so ashamed of yet we going up in here to the Emmys and to the Grammys and stuff like that and getting mad when they choose other people of course they're choosing other people they're even taking our music and then putting their pop stuff on it because they know it's better. So instead of begging some people at the academy to properly award our stars, let's give our stars their, their own awards. Let's have our own award show and then stop bashing the one that we do have. And if you wonder why the BET Awards is the way it is, because we don't own that either. We don't own BET, so we don't control how it's portrayed, how it's handled, any of that stuff. If you want stuff to be better, do it yourself. Old Town Road, prime example. Lil Nas X did not have to put Billy Ray Cyrus on that remix. He could have been just fine without having that on the charts, but what? We love to have the white man pass on. Yeah, you're good. You're a good one. You did great. Oh, you want to be on the charts so bad. Who cares if you're on the charts if you got money? You got the money. Tour and have a blast. Them take you off the charts doesn't mean anything. Yes, I know that there's money and all that involved, but what about your balls? What about your pride? What about your dignity? Every time something happens or gets taken away from you, you don't have to jump and say, oh, let me get a token. You don't have to do that. They have to do that. They need tokens to keep our attention and stuff like that. We don't need that. We are the attention. We create all of this shit. Stop trading yourself 
for the approval of other people stay firm in your shit and fight for your shit or you're gonna continue to complain about the same stuff because it's not for you it's for them make it for you again we gotta have our own black businesses again our own nail salons stop complaining about koreans and how they treating you yet you talk shit and you post about them and you go to another korean spot another korean spot another korean joint stop complaining about how chinese people treat you in the, in their chicken box store fry your own chicken they don't even eat fried chicken come on now but one one of them treats you bad and you go support the other one and a black person tell you they got a business and you want to be asking them if they're using canola oil or safflower oil or you want to ask them if they're using farm raised or cage raised chicken you don't ask none of them niggas that shit but you complain when they treat you bad and then you give black business 21 questions that's why this shit is the way it is you want to talk about a law you don't even understand the law how can you ask for it to be better for you it's not for you instead of getting mad that the justice system is for just them have your own justice system be accountable for yourself it's very 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 simple for the arts we know we create the arts don't get mad that you're not getting all these lucrative and all of these very prestigious awards award yourself we have the key to everything all of our own issues but we want to put the accountability on someone else and say well they need to be more diverse they need to be more sensitive to our needs they need to be more culturally inclusive why it's not their culture it's not their culture their culture is money our culture is performance and dance and arts and feelings and shit like that and that's why we get fucked up because we get so caught up in our feelings we forget the business side all we have to do is combine our genius from our arts put it with our business and we'll take care of our own business instead of giving it to everyone else and getting mad when they don't treat us right so since we get into that the answer and the solution to this is simple have your own award shows have your own charts for the music artists have your own awards for the artists have your own platforms for the artists have your own websites where you celebrate artists do your own shout outs for these artists make salaries endorse only companies that endorse you you keep supporting gatorade you know gatorade don't fuck with you keep up with nike you know nike don't fuck with you but we sell out for a shoe we sell out for a couple million dollars and if you really want to know the stats Google how much these NBA players actually make outside of the LeBrons, the Kobe's and all like Google how much they actually make They're only making a few million a year Most of their money comes from endorsements So they're not even getting paid a lot, but they're risking their bodies getting shot of all these drugs to stay in Make your own league. We had the Negro League and it was doing just fine. It was doing just fine Ask Jackie and them. We had a Baltimore Black Sox. We were good But we want to start getting all greedy and stuff like that and want to you know shift our focus That's when we got fucked up in the game make our own movies we have a new black theater in Pikesville right now. Let's go there. Don't keep going to Cinemax and Towson and all of that getting mad because they being bougie and they don't want you in there. You're being too loud. They want to shush you. Go to a black theater where having a soul and having emotions is okay. It's okay to clap and talk a little. Yes, girl, you heard in the movie? Go where you're wanted. Stop begging to be where you're not wanted. That shit is done. We are not in Jim Crow anymore. That shit is done, yo. We are not our parents and grandparents. We actually can do stuff about it. But niggas just want to tweet it. What's Twitter going to do? It's time to stop bitching and time to start moving. Move that dollar. Move that ass. Create. That's what we do best. Create our own spaces. Create spaces for ourselves and just let it grow organically. It doesn't matter if it starts in the living room, the dining room, the basement. That's what we do our best shit at anyway. And if we keep on coming together and supporting that cause and everybody stop doing goofy shit like celebrating the 4th of July and then getting mad when shit goes back to normal the next day at work, focus on shit that fucks with you. Fuck with shit that fucks with you. Bring it back to the center. If you want to be a center of attention, make it happen. But don't get mad and clap at other people to get their attention and get mad when they don't, they don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. Why should they give a fuck? They can go home and be unbothered. And at the end of the day, while they're unbothered, they count the money they made off of you, you bitching about it. And you're not changing a damn thing. You're not buying up the businesses on your block. You're not buying up the abandoned homes. And it's not that we don't have the money. We got the money. Nobody's starting their own grassroots movement. Nobody's starting their own award show. We got the money to do that too. But no, we just want to put on our best and go to theirs. They're going to get me this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got my hair cut. You know, I got my accent. Yeah, yeah. And I want to thank God. God above. I want to thank the Academy. Why? Thank your niggas. The Academy didn't do shit. But make you dance. Your niggas put you on. Because if we didn't spend that record, you would not be up there getting that award. And it's been proven that even if hella niggas, millions of niggas spend your record, they still ain't going to pick you. <laughs> They're going to pick Taylor Swift. Don't be a Kanye. 
drinking Hennessy looking dumb, bitching and complaining, and you're still a fool, and you still didn't get what you wanted out of the situation. We all know Beyonce was better. What Beyonce do? And went home. Y'all was still mad. Make it make sense. Fashion. Come on now. People started taking showers like 200 years ago. You expect them to really know what to do, what we got going on? We've been creating for eons. We have been creating for eons. This fashion shit, it's all us. Look at the docket of the, the highest fashion brands. We sprinkle all up and through there. If we're not stitching the shit, we're the creative director, we're the photographer, we're the editors. This is our shit. If we all marched off of our jobs right the fuck now, shit would stop. It would stop completely. We can make our own runways. We can make our own brands. We just too scary. What are you afraid of? There's nothing on the other side of fear but the shit you haven't done yet. We already know what it's like to keep begging and bell. Oh, please, please, please accept my shoes. Look at Easy. He's foolish. He done left Nike. His shoes go retail for way less. And he still will a funky ass Adidas. It means nothing. Yeah, it's the hype. But the man lost. He should have just went off on his own own. But he's still putting his name on a sneaker that doesn't belong to him. But at the end of the day, it could say Yeezy, but guess what? Adidas fucking made that shit. It could say Kobe all day, but guess what? It got a big ass check on it. It could say LeBron all day, but guess what? It has a big ass check. We got to stop letting niggas use us for their business and calling it endorsements. And we got to be the face behind our true business. We got to do our own shit. It is imperative. You mad that they keep on casting light-skinned girls? Well, won't all the dark-skinned girls get up and make their own series? Stop complaining. We could, I'm talking about even within our culture. Let's talk about that. Stop getting mad about that shit. You want an all dark skin party, an all dark skin series? Make one with all bad dark skin bitches. Stop bitching. We got the power. It's time to stop giving it away. We have everything we need from money to clout to creativity to resources. We contribute to all of the major happenings in this country and abroad. We just don't get that. Stop letting people convince you that your value is this much when you are the whole damn thing. You run the show. Stop letting other niggas leverage you and be the change that you want to see. Make the changes. If you don't like the way Macy's is treating you, open a boutique and tell all your little, your, little, your little friends to come and support you. And if they don't, then get new friends. But this whole begging culture, I'm done with it. I don't want to hear nothing else about it. Don't tell me if I don't ask me if I've seen the war shows. I don't watch them. We don't make them. I'm done with all that. Stop complaining. Change the game. Learn the rules. Cut.